This is Shibuya Crossing, the busiest intersection in the world. Approximately 2.3 million people cross this intersection every day. Shibuya is the entertainment hub of Tokyo and rightfully so. This is Shinjuku. It's only five minutes by train away from Shibuya, but it feels like a completely different city. It is known for having the busiest train station in the world, but also known for some of the best food in Tokyo. Today, we'll be comparing the two trendiest neighborhoods here in Tokyo to see if they live up to the hype. If you've been loving the content so far, don't be scared to hit that subscribe button and let's start exploring. Okay, we finally made it to Shibuya and we we're just comparing it to Times Square because it very much feels like it. There's about 15 different train stations that you can transfer to here and when you get outside it actually looks like all the lights and all the work that you see in Times Square which is just crazy to us but it is super 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 busy here. When I say insanity like I actually mean it because like there's almost nowhere to walk here but damn it's like it really it really did what it said it was gonna do because wow it's like times square well, times at... 50 because it's like so much more interesting and entertaining can you believe this this is crazy i don't even know where to look i don't even know where to stand i can't believe we're here <laughs> yo this is not the tokyo that we've been at look for at starbucks there's like so many people up there. Oh my god, there's this is, so this is it. This is the, the scramble floor. crossing. There's so many people on the floor, but like if you look up in the buildings, there are also people in the Yo, buildings. This bus is making a turn. Yo, that bus just made a U turn. Like, how did he pull that off? <laughs> like, we legit don't even know what to do with ourselves right now. Yeah. Let me say something that I've been li like like I said a few times already. We've been Why living. Are you stuttering? We've been living in New York for a long time. I've been to Times Square dreading it, but Times Square got nothing on this. Times Square is like a walk in the park compared to this neighborhood. You just look around and it's like everything is happening all at the same time. I feel like everybody that is in Tokyo right now is right here. Yeah. Like. So, guess what, guys? like millions of people use this train station every day and i can see like a million people here like oh right now yo kart. mario kart <laughs> oh we missed it oh i'm sure there'll be more yo there's people legit riding mario kart like go-karts right now this is just insane like this is much more than i can handle i think my heart is palpitating fast <laughs> is that a word <laughs> i know we're attempting to scramble because so many people are crossing right now but we have no reason to cross but we're gonna do it anyways all right, we're doing it, guys. It's totally possible. We're absolutely doing it. Okay, okay. All right, there's a lot going on, of course. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look what I just found. What? Basketball <laughs> Street. I'm home. Yo, I knew Tokyo was gonna be home for me like a long time ago before I even came here, but now that I see this basketball, I just gotta be here. But yo, the amount of people here is crazy. I can't stress it enough, like, I've seen a lot of people. Like, I've been to big cities in the world. New York, Mexico City, like, LA, like, all these other large cities in the world, but Tokyo is, is like an anthill worth of city. It's just crazy how many people are crawling all at the same time in all different directions. We expected it, but like, until you actually come for yourself, yeah. it's like nothing that you could have read in a, like, an article or a blog or anything. You actually have yeah. to come and see it for yourself. Listen, I walk, we walked up the stairs and it was like anxiety, like, oh, 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 oh. couldn't peek, didn't know where to go, didn't know where to look. I was looking at everybody and I'm like, and nobody cares. Everyone's just minding yeah. their own business. So this is awesome. How many people do you think cross here per day? I actually don't know, but I know that nearby Shinjuku has... Whoa. Oh, actually, if you combine all the train stations in the neighborhood, it's over 5.4 million people per day that use the trains, which doesn't include people that just cross and don't take the train. So I, I imagine it's probably like 10 million people a day in this neighborhood. This is just it's crazy. insane. And it's a Sunday. Yeah, today is Sunday, by the way. Today is a Sunday. This Which, is... people are off work, so, like... Right, so, but, like, during business hours, you'd see, like, the typical Japanese men in the business suits, but, like, today is just, like, casual Sunday. Crazy, man. Of course, it wouldn't be Japan if you didn't see these guys here. Alright, 
so we got a little bit of a taste of Shibuya crossing and it is wild but definitely worth it and absolutely a must if you come here to Tokyo the next stop is gonna be a robot cafe uh, just to show you how life well how modern the life here is in Tokyo which is just like incredible because I've never seen robot cafes anywhere except on like Instagram videos about Tokyo so we have to go sample it for ourselves so it's only a couple blocks to walk down there and let's see let's see how good these robots are at making coffee So it was very hard to figure out how to get to this floor because the elevators had restrictions for this floor and we found an elevator that had no restrictions so it isn't as busy as this, I thought uh, it would robot, be but robot. I see the robots guys! Okay, we need to calm down. We just got our assigned robot and we actually have to right, follow him to our seat. So this is quite interesting. Right? Yeah. Okay, we're legit following this robot right now. Alright, I think we just arrived at our seats and this is just crazy. Is this insane or is this insane? I cannot believe this, but I'm looking at the guy who's gonna take our order. And he's oh, looking at he's us. Looking at me. <laughs> Hi. Konnichiwa. We Wait, need to focus. he can dance and he can talk. She'll let him dance. <laughs> we have to let him dance. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Are you dancing with a robot right now? He's, he's better than me, right? Oh, yeah. He's, he's much better than you. He's done. Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, no. You slapped the table. <laughs> All right, so this 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 robot here is the table entertainment robot. There's a different robot over there where you place your actual order at. Yes. And there's a different robot that actually brings you food. Yes. So it's almost fully staffed by robots, except the person that actually programmed the robot and told us told, told him us where, where to, to put it. Yeah. Here. But this is like a dedicated guy here. All right, let's go over to the other robot to order our dinner. Yes. So a lot of people are actually enjoying the robots. It's not just us, but this is the ordering robot. So I think this it's is, cooking. It says that it's cooking. Yeah, I think this robot actually makes the food. Like, the people that work there, they don't actually make the food. I think that maybe they bring drinks, but like this one will cook something. So we have to try to figure this one out. So right now, there's only like four things on the menu here, and I guess that's the only drawback or criticism that I would have. But everything else is so cool that I don't even care. Maybe uh, soy. Soy? Yeah. And just like that, our meal is being cooked. All right, guys, our food is done. <laughs> this is incredible. The food is good, but the okay, robot. So the real reason we came here was for the robot, but I just want to add a side note that the food is also good. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, so the fries were about 600 yen, which is about $4.25, and it was 850 for the soup, which I'm guessing is probably about like 5 or $6 US, so grand total about $10, and a whole lot of entertainment with this guy. He made our night. His name is Pepper, by the way, or her name, I don't know. I'm legitimately hiding from Simis and he's like looking for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There are so many people here. I was able to literally dodge you. I, just I saw you. I was like this walking away and you were just looking like. First of all, you're one of the tallest people here. So. There's actually some tall people here though. Don't there lie. are. Yeah. There really are. But, but I, was, I, was, I was able to I dodge I looked you. over. I'm like, where's the red hat? I don't see anybody. <laughs> so. So pretty funny, but we've been trying to leave Shibuya for like at least 20 minutes now and we're still in Shibuya because there's still so much to see and do. Sensory stimulation on a high right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Alright, yes. let's go to Shinjuku. We have to. Shinjuku? Let's All do right. it. We got to Shinjuku, we got away from the train madness and all we had to do is actually get to the neighborhoods but uh, the key difference between Shinjuku is, well, 
the key difference between Shinjuku and Shibuya is the fact that Shibuya is supposed to be a little more for the budget traveler, for the young people, it's kind of hip, it's kind of like fast, and uh, while Shinjuku is supposed to be more of like glitz and glamour, more of a high-end shopping area, there's supposed to be a lot of foreigners that come here to spend their money, so we're gonna go and actually see that for ourselves, so let's go check out Shinjuku. Yo, this street, I cannot believe it's actually the street. If I stretch one arm out this way and the other arm out that way, I could not, I could touch both walls, no problem. And everything looks really good. It's such a tiny street yeah. that like, how did people find this? Yeah, so this is definitely a little bit of the original Tokyo. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, I like the decor. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. We have to try something here. Even if we weren't that hungry before, gotta eat something now. So oh, these great lighting. Like food stands or bars, they're so small that like even if we wanted to go eat in one of these places, I don't even know if we could fit. Can you yeah. see this? I have to hold the camera kind of slanted because there's literally no room. How big? Like my whole body stretches across the street. Yeah. That's how big the street is. Ooh, looks good. It's basically just skewers, and I'm feeling some skewers right um, now. In Japanese, you? it's yakitori. It's yakitori. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to try it. Do you? Of course. Of course. All right. Let's find somewhere that where it's not as packed. And... All right. Let's go. But if it's packed, I mean it's probably good, right? We finally saw a place that was empty, and just like that, literally gone. Just like that. Is it? Wait, is there more room in the back? No, there isn't, right? There is literally no more room in the back. Ah, yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. keep it moving. We'll try to find something else. Alright, we have. So we finally found a spot that we actually will be eating at. So we figured out actually every single spot has like some kind of cover charge per person. So just to sit at the table, you gotta pay, and then you gotta pay to order your food so be aware if you come here uh, but I think the food should be good and it's like you're paying for the experience not just for the food so so I got some spicy clam some squid Simi's got chicken thighs and spicy sausage spicy, spicy wiener and a piece of it is already yeah. missing spicy wiener so I'm about to try the I keep forgetting but this squid. is squid <laughs> I must say it's very chewy, but really, really chewy. It's very chewy, but really, really good. It has this really good smoke taste to it because that's how they prepare it. I can't complain. It's really good and it tastes like hefty. I also got spicy clam and it looks like this. So time to try it, the spicy clam. Oh, you found it out? Honestly, it's pretty good. We are done. We devoured and conquered all the food that we got and I couldn't leave without one of these because you know the brand. The breath is breathing right now. It's a smelly clam, I guess. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, we're gonna leave this place because that was not funny. That was some good food. Oh, yeah. I think today we did enough, we saw enough, and we really enjoyed both Shibuya and Shinjuku. And we recommend both if you're ever here in it's Japan, a, for sure. Yeah. I'll just add one thing, hold on. <laughs> we, like Arena was saying, we absolutely love Shibuya, Shinjuku. They're totally, totally different vibes, guys. They're literally three train stops away, which is like a five-ish minute ride and it's like worlds apart like it's still japan it's still busy but like the feel is like night and day and they're both absolutely worth it so uh what do you pick out of the two out of the two neighborhoods if we're to go somewhere again like next week for a trip which one would you go to if you have to pick one i 
can't, the thing is I can't pick one. I come to both, yeah. Right. I'd walk. Honestly, you could technically walk. It's like an hour walk between the two, but we wouldn't do that. But uh, yeah, totally worth it. So if you ever find yourself in Tokyo, definitely give Omoide Yokocho a try in Shinjuku. Definitely go to Shibuya just across the street if that's all you have time for. <laughs> like we did. Yeah, and it, Tokyo is worth it any time of the it's day, trip, night, yeah. season, whatever. Sure. Just go. But so. that is it for this one, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and help us get to our first 100 subs, right? Right. All right, guys. See you later.